Bonjour, Hi and welcome to Plein Ecran, Plein Ecran this week in San Francisco. San Francisco that is fast turning into a second home for us. San Francisco at the heart of one of the revolutions that's happening on the web today, podcasting. Podcasts are fast turning into a new media, a media that could actually make real money seeing how people here are launching series of new video and audio podcasts. First of all, let's get back to basics. What's a podcast exactly? Whether audio or video, podcasts are now an integral part of our digital lives. First and foremost, podcasts are a simple way to have audio or video files automatically downloaded to your computer and possibly copied to a mobile device like the iPod or any of its competition. Podcasts have already revolutionized how radio is being listened to. In France, major networks like RTL, Europe One and Radio France are all offering podcast versions of their shows, which means you can listen to them where and when you please. Along with mobile video players came TV podcasts. You may be actually watching this on your mobile media player. Beyond what podcasts offer to traditional media, it has enabled the advent of new original programming created by internet users themselves. Creating a podcast is actually pretty simple and cheap enough, at least where audio is concerned, which explains the sheer number of podcasts available today about any and everything, from cooking to foreign language classes. Video may be a little trickier and require more investment, time and money-wise, but it's still way cheaper than having your own TV set. Here too, the number of available shows is going way up in many ways. Podcasting is today fulfilling the promise of on-demand, personalized media for everyone, just the way you like it. Up until now, at least, things were clear. On one side, you had podcasting professionals, and on the other, the amateurs. Professionals were big media, radio and TV, recycling their content through podcasting and the Internet. Amateurs produced fresh, original content, sometimes not too good technically, and with very little hope of turning it into a business. As you'll see, this is the one thing that is changing fast. To know more, Plenicron went to meet with Leo Laporte, a pioneer of tech journalism on TV and radio, who is fast becoming the new pope of podcasting in the US. One, two, three, three. Meeting with the rising star of independent podcasting takes, well, a bit of effort. It's pretty simple to get there, across the bridge, then straight up 101, till you get to the southernmost tip of the Sonoma Valley in a lovely historic village. Welcome to Petaluma, this ain't Silicon Valley, and yet one of the best examples of the new business model that podcasting is inventing resides here in a small wooden house. Bonjour, bienvenue à tout. Allons-y. This is Leo Laporte, high-tech journalist, a radio host for the last 30 years and TV host for 15. This is Twit. A technology expert who started podcasting nearly by accident. Uh, it started because uh, the Twits and I were all on a television network in the States that went belly up. And uh, we, were, we were out of work. We all found other work. We kind of missed working with each other, and we and there was a big audience that all of a sudden had no technology channel at all. There was no way for them to find this stuff out. So uh, about a year later, uh, we were all sitting around in a bar, and I recorded a conversation, you know, just with a little handheld microphone, and uh, put it on the internet, and fifty thousand people downloaded it. And I went, oh, <laughs> there's, some, oh there's some interest here. Each and every week, more than 300,000 fans listen to Twit, Twit for This Week in Tech, a weekly show that brings together some of the biggest names in tech journalism, like in this particular episode, one of the few captured on video, and one of the very few where all participants were actually in the same place at the same time. Every Sunday, Twit is usually recorded right here in Leo Laporte's mini-studio. Contributors are live on the air through the internet, thanks to Skype, all in all, it seems pretty simple and very low cost. But the neat thing about podcasting is a, a, a audio podcasting like I do, one person can easily do it. It's not very difficult. Um, you know, I can do easily, I do about 50 hours of programming a month. And I can do that all by myself, kind of in my spare time. Nowadays, Twit covers pretty much the whole spectrum of technology and computing. Twit, the show, has become the Twit Netcast Network, 
which shows on computer security, the Mac, Web 2.0, Windows Vista, New Media and High Tech Law, a pretty wide offering with a dozen podcasts. Up until recently, production and hosting were financed through listener donations, but that is changing fast. The network doesn't has never cost us anything except time. Um, and we're now starting to take advertising so that it actually can pay us. Because I would like to do this full time, and I know the people that I work with are very interested in getting paid for the hour or two a week that they spend on this. Um, and it's starting to happen. Uh, we have a big computer company, Dell, you know. Uh, we have T-Mobile, Deutsche Telekom is helping us out. We have Visa, the credit card company. These are big companies who are interested in podcasting. It's new for them. They don't know exactly um, how it fits in with their overall media buying plan, but they know they they know there's something's happening. They know it's a big audience. It's an audience they want. It's an affluent, educated audience that spends a lot of money. So they're experimenting with us. They're not. We're. I don't think we're getting as much as we ought to be for the ads, but they're experimenting with us. And I think in the next year, you're going to see more and more companies doing that. And I think, in fact, this is a, a, a real business. Yeah. Yeah. Not that we planned it that way, but I, it's turning out that way. What draws advertisers to podcasting is the simple fact that the audience listens to shows that they choose to download. Downloads, which can be tracked really efficiently with near real-time statistics. This is how we learned that Twit had several thousand fans in France, which is more than Ireland has, which is sort of strange for an English-speaking country. But then how many people listen to podcasts in the U.S.? You know, it's really hard to tell. Nobody knows. Different research has wildly different results. Uh, one research group said, nobody listens to podcasts. And others said, 50 million people listen to podcasts. So there's, it's somewhere in between zero and 50 million. I, I don't know where. I think it's a new medium. I think it is, it is, in the long run, going to be as important as radio, as television. It's a medium.